All right, we're going through how to make double-sided ornaments utilizing templates. So I will show you how to make the templates and we will go from standard cutouts to double-sided ornaments. Stick around. All right, today we're going over how to make double-sided ornaments utilizing indexable templates. And we're gonna go from blank cutouts to double-sided ornaments. Stick around. So I had a viewer mention that you can dock the art library and I left it out of my video. That's gonna be tagged here. You can dock that down here. Hit that guy and you can move it all around or just dock it over here. And then you can move it around. There you go. So now you have a tab down there. Next time you close and open up, it'll be there again. So the first thing that we wanna do in getting perfect double-sided ornaments or double-sided anything is to make a template. I have a video on templates. You wanna check that out. There's a card up there. We're gonna go over it really quick here. So we have a piece that we are going to cut the templates out of and then hold down shift and you get a symmetrical shape. Color that black. Lock in so the width and height both change, and I want that to be six inches. The reason I'm making it six inches is because the ornament that we designed, and click this card if you want to watch that video, is roughly four inches. We're going to center our ornament in this six inch by six inch square, which is going to be our template. Go down to the art library, most used or ornaments, pull that ornament out. Uh, control G to group that together and then to center that in the square there you go so because our ornament that we designed is symmetrical this template will work for your front and your back if you wanted to batch out a whole lot of the same ornament you can make a big jig if you don't know about jigs i'll leave a uh, card for that video you can line this ornament out in an array by clicking on the ornament clicking on the create a grid array and then making a ton of these uh, up and down to fit your laser um, ship by half let's do that and if you do that you want your template we'll just say okay you want your template to size up with these so oops shift and we'll just say that that works those are all grouped together Let's center those in there. And now your template will be able to handle 12 ornaments at a time. And you can make this handle the front and the back, like I said, because they're symmetrical. But let's go back to one. Like I said, we're gonna be cutting this template out of another piece. So I utilize blue for all of my reference stuff or things that I'm not going to cut out. It's just, I need to be able to see whatever it is the piece of material that I'm cutting something else out of, uh, or when I go to utilize templates, my templates are, are colored blue. So your mileage may vary. Whatever color you want to use for that, for your reference is up to you. I use blue. Black is cut and red is engraved. Like I said, this is symmetrical, so this will work for your front and your back. And how you'd utilize this is ungrouping this. And if you are cutting out initially, cut this out just the way it is. And then you have an extra ornament or, or delete this inner circle. And now you have a ornament blank if you're going to be engraving on it. But once you cut it out, you're going to have the square cut out and you're going to have the outline of the ornament, the outside of the ornament cut out. This is what it's going to look like. And you can take that. And I want to have another folder in my art library that is specifically for templates. You can save your templates a bunch of different ways. You can just create an SVG. Uh, you can save them to your art library and we're going to do that or you can create individual projects for 
each the front and the back and if you're doing an array repeat ornaments you get them all the time or repeat items all the time i would make individual projects for each one of those that way when you go to cut them out it is that much easier there's less setup time so i want to save this to my templates art library import graphic from project ornament engrave template now i can delete those and just load that template whenever i want to utilize it and if i want to put something in it there's Steamboat, uh, I want to center him on the ornament and make sure that those guys are blue. Now I have this docked or the job origin you can see is the top right. And I do that because I have a fence installed on my laser. So I will cut this template out, put it on my shelf. When I go to use it, I'll take it out and I will put it right into that fence, zero my laser to that zero point, and then go from there. If you would like to see a video about laser fences, click on the card. Hey, I wanted to talk to you for a second about Amazon business. It's the same as regular Amazon, but it's the business side. You get analytics. Uh, if you have multiple people in your shop, you can see spending habits and trends, all that good stuff. One man shop here, so a lot of that doesn't matter to me. But I hooked it up to my regular Amazon, so I get the prime shipping. I don't get two day shipping where I am in Wyoming, but maybe you get uh, same day shipping where you are in, in a bigger city or, or wherever. Uh, prices are a little bit better than regular Amazon too. Not by a ton, but every penny counts when you are running a small business. May or may not be right for you, but there's a link in the description below. Check it out, see if it'll work for you. Okay, here I think I've beat symmetrical ornament to death. Let's go with non-symmetrical ornament. So now we're looking at an offset of some sort. There's a weird shape, there's a weird hole in it, there's a weird something. Something is weird about this ornament. For these purposes, we are going to rotate the hole that the string goes through. We're gonna rotate that by uh, 45 degrees here. So grab your ornament, we're going to shift comma, and with this ornament, we're going to ungroup it, Control D to duplicate, and then we're going to mirror, which is this guy right here, mirror sideways. So now we have a front and a back. Front, and then you rotate it, and you got your back. And we can mark these. So when you were making your templates here for the first time, or when you were initially making them, engrave what it is that they are. So this is double-sided ornament front, or if you this is the only thing that you're doing, front and back. Um, I would try to be specific. Uh, also, if you utilize a specific type of uh, settings on these ornaments or on this product, whatever it is, you can put that on this template too. That way when you pull it up, you can just boop, boop, boop. Uh, input that stuff into Lightburn. You can also utilize your material library, um, but that's a whole different ball game there. So, so now that we have our front and back templates, and just like before, we're going to cut these out blue. We're going to cut these out of a piece of material. So these guys are going to be black for me so the outside of the template is going to cut out the ornament shape or the outside of the ornament shape is going to cut out and I'm also going to engrave on that template what it is front back once I'm done with that delete uh, and I want to utilize these which are going to be those six inch square cutouts Again, I'm gonna save it to my either art library, I'm gonna save them as an SVG, or I'm gonna save them as an, a light burn project. Control G, we're gonna group that together. And we are going to, in my templates, we messed up here. I don't want these to cut out and engrave every time, and I don't wanna to have to change that every time either, so. I'm going to blue both of those because we already cut them out. We don't need to cut them out again. We already engraved them. We don't need to engrave them again. So that's a little bit better. So now let's delete those guys. 
And now when I'm ready to go and start engraving on my front, I can load this template and just like before, our uh, job origin is in the top right because that's where my laser uh, zeroes. Uh, and I want to, again, put Steamboat in this bad boy. We'll do that. Turn him red. Load up the laser, hit start. It's going to engrave this. We'll do all the fronts or the one front or whatever. Back ornament engrave. Take our back template, put it on the laser. And on this, we're going to say thank you. Thank you for being a loyal customer, or whatever. And now that's going to engrave on the backs of the ornaments. Hopefully this helped you out.